we are rolling. When they told uh, Billy Wilder that there was going to be a remake of Sabrina, he answered, I didn't know there was something wrong with the original. Yeah. <laughs> what was wrong with the original answer? Nothing at all. In fact, when they told me that they wanted to do a remake of Arthur, I said, why? Why would you do that? That's crazy. The original movie is a brilliant movie. Uh, but you start to think about it, and somebody told me then that Russell Brand was playing Arthur, and I thought, well, if there's one actor on Earth that reinvents this story for a new generation that hasn't seen it, it's Russell Brand. And that becomes the reason. When you start thinking about it, it's been 30 years since the original Arthur, and there's a whole generation of moviegoers that have, haven't even heard of it. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. We're not trying to fix it. Um, but we are trying to find new stuff within it, you know? That was the great joy and excitement of doing the movie, was, was discovering our own voice and our own comedy and our own relationships mm -hmm. and complex emotions, that, that some of which the basis was there in the original, but, but I, I feel like we, we, we found our own version as we went along. Yes, you did kind of modernize it, but you kind of kept the spirit of the yeah, original. That's right. Is that what you wanted to do? That's exactly right. I mean, I'm a huge fan of the original. I mean, it was my first favorite movie growing really? up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to come home from school, and Arthur was in heavy rotation on HBO at the time. Yeah. So I felt like I was getting a sneak peek at something I wasn't supposed to watch. It was kind of naughty, you know? And so it, it has a special place in my heart. And I wanted to be really true to Steve Gordon's original vision for this movie. Fortunately, his vision was rebellious and rambunctious and fun. And I think that he would, or at least I hope he would have appreciated the ways that we were irreverent in updating it. Uh, it's a story of a man with of a kid who finally decides to grow up. Yeah. Do you feel that it will happen to Russell at a point? <laughs> you, know what's, you know what's weird? I think Russell is that kid who has begun to grow up. I mean, look, it's not hard to draw a comparison between Arthur and Russell. I mean, he's dealt with substance abuse in his past. We all know that. But that was nine years ago. And a lot of the behavior that people associate with him, all the crazy bad boy stuff, happened well before he got sober, which was quite a long time ago at this point. That's why I felt like he was such a good choice for the role, because he settled in himself, grown up a little bit himself. He's married, he's in love, and he can think back on that time of his life with a great deal of perspective and kind of bring that depth to the role. Another big change, Upson is not a guy anymore. What, what's <laughs> Upson is not a guy anymore. That's right, Hobson is a, that's the thing, that was the other challenge for me was, what are you going to do about Hobson? I mean, John Gilgood gave an iconic performance mm -hmm. in the original. How can you possibly top that? Well, uh, Peter Bainham, our writer, had the amazing idea of making Hobson a woman, uh, his nanny instead of his butler, which uh, I think is pretty inspired, not just because it's kind of funny, but because it opens up the possibility of casting somebody like Helen Mirren, who would never draw direct comparisons to John Gilgood and creates a more unique relationship with Russell. Because she is his nanny, she, as she constantly reminded me throughout shooting, I used to wipe his bottom, <laughs> right? So, so, so there's an intimate relationship between the two of them, like a, like a mother and a son. Hmm. Of course, it's a romantic comedy. Of course, it's uh, very exaggerated and very, but there's some kind of a, of a silver lining in it that says that a lot of things about the, the time we live in. What, what would you say about that? Yeah, yeah, I think the movie, you, has a certain escapist quality to it. You know, the, uh, Arthur is a character who lives uh, above and beyond consequences and rules, and that's always fun to watch. You know, somebody who has all the toys and resources in the world, um, but he's a little lost and lonely amidst all of that. Um, I'm just thinking of this right now as we say this, honestly, but I think that's true of a lot of people. We have a lot of toys and resources at our disposals, whether it's our computers and our iPhones, and as the years go by, we become more adrift and lost amidst these things and search for meaning. And uh, Arthur is a character who is, whether he knows it or not, on a search for meaning. And when he meets Greta Gerwig's character, Naomi, he finds that meaning and finds a reason to start taking some responsibility in his life and kind of start hearing what Hobson has been sarcastically telling him for years. Uh -huh.